Deuteronomy 6.4 says, The Lord is our God, the Lord is one. And Jesus referenced this verse in the Gospel of Mark. I believe it was chapter 12. And I've heard Muslims try to use this verse as a disruption of the Trinity and um, a show of the correctness of the Tawhid, which is the doctrine of Islam, uh, it, Allah in Islam, that Allah is one God and he is not a Trinity or three persons in one God, but he is one God. Now, Christians, we also believe in polytheism, but Muslims don't believe us to be true polytheists. So let's just go through this. The Lord is our God. That's a correct statement. You know, the Lord, the only Lord, the Lord of the ages, he is our God. And then this next part says, the Lord is one. Now, this one, let's look at what it is in the original Hebrew uh, one, it translated from Hebrew as Echad. It translated as Echad. Now, this type of one, it's not just like, oh, one, two, three, four, counting, but it's saying that it's like that, and it could be plural. If you ask any person who knows Hebrew, they say Echad is plural. All right? So, if they wanted to refer, so I'm going to just put a little P in parentheses for plural. Now, if they wanted to refer to God as one, as in singular, they would say Yahid, which is singular. You put a little S for singular. Now, it didn't say the Lord is our God, the Lord is Yahid. It said the Lord is our God, the Lord is Ahad. So, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one implying it could have been plural. Now, that's not talking about multiple gods. In Isaiah uh, 43, it says, God said, Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. I, even I, am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. There is no Savior apart from God. So, there is only one God. We believe in true monotheism. Now, if you want to get into Islam being true I mean, monotheism, we could look at the pagan traditions of the Hajj and other things involving Islam, like Islamic practices and the worship of the moon god in pre-Islamic Mecca, you know, Alat, Al-Uzza, and Manat. We could get into all that, but we're not. We're just sticking with this. We're saying that our God is one God in three. Not saying God is shampoo, but what I'm saying is God has three natures. And they are all God. They're not all gods. They are just one God. We can even see this with how uh, how the Old Testament in Hebrew, it says Elohim. Now that's plural. So I'm going to put plural. Now what Elohim means, it means God or gods. Now that's not referencing multiple gods. What it's saying is the three in one God, the triune God, the Trinity. All right, that's something. But if you want to say that Islam is true monotheism, we could stick to how the Quran says when Allah talks about himself, he says, and we have given this declaration, and we have said this. Now, we is plural. You want to get into that? And you want to say, oh, it's the uh, royal we. No, that was invented by Queen Victoria, who was century, over a thousand years after Muhammad supposedly gave these revelations, which aren't really revelations, they're just bullcrap from junk he made up, or from some junk that Satan gave to him. But, yeah, I mean, I said what I said, and the Bible says what it says. Please, read it some, and then form... A good opinion. Look at the Hebrew translations. Um, this has been good talking to you all. Have a good day. Jesus is God. Jesus is God. The Holy Spirit is God and the Father is God. They're all God and one God. Jesus is Lord.